these uh, this is a video series about uh, things that I like things that I enjoy things I'm looking forward to and this is one thing I'm looking forward to and that is the Zack Snyder's cut of the Justice League movie now before we go on to before I play the trailer I would like to step state for the record that I am not the biggest Zack Snyder fan but there's a missing humanity quality to his work that I feel um, he lacks but overall I am a proponent of artists being able to express themselves the way they know how to express themselves it doesn't matter if if it's good or bad so uh, I'm happy that he got his cut I'm happy that uh, Warner Brothers or AT&T whichever entity you prefer to give the credit to gave Zack Snyder the opportunity to showcase what he truly intended for the Justice League movie before it was um, butchered by Joss Wheaton and uh, Jeff Johns and the other corporate suits at Warner Brothers during that time so I'm very happy to see that so let's take a look at the trailer and I'll, I'll discuss it afterwards so begins the end for dark time I've never seen a being this strong. Maybe one. He's back. I spent a lot of time trying to divide us. I made a promise to him on his grave. I like the synthesizer uh, sound there. I need there. to it's bring us cool. together. There are enemies coming from far away. They serve an old power. This world is divided. No protectors here. No lanterns. That's cool, man. The Green with the lanterns, that was a cool shot. It will fall in his name. Dark side with that Conan pose. I, have I got that. Rules. The age of heroes is not gonna again. waste it. Fighting the devil and his army. You know, I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells, he's never fought us united. It's time to stand. So there you have it. Um, great uh, tra last trailer for the for the film before it, it's dropped on HBO Max this coming Thursday. Um, doesn't give away too much, which is nice. I do I I'm a big fan of trailers not showing too much of the movie, just showing little tidbits so that way people can can expect the unexpected. But we already know what the story is about. Uh, we've seen the we have a basic idea of what it is. Um, but it would be interesting to see how Zack Snyder had envisioned it before, like I said earlier, that uh, before Joss Whedon came and butchered it to his uh, personal d uh, design. Um, honestly, guys, like I'm really excited about this project. I'm not, uh, I'm not lie about it. Um, I'm a DC fanboy through and through. I was a big fan of DC comics growing up. Uh, for a lot of years, I did prefer DC over Marvel. It really depended on. Um, uh, really on the talent that was on DC so the for a few years I kind of lost love out of DC and kind of bought more Marvel books because they had their talent pool they had a very stronger they had a stronger talent pool over at Marvel for a lot of years so um, I was always of course back and forth between the two but this is very exciting for me I can't wait to watch it I will definitely uh, review the movie in this channel so that way uh, people can 
can check it out if they'd like to. I know there's a lot of Zack Snyder haters out there, and uh, it's a it's it's a given uh, because you can't win them all, as the the old saying goes. And that's okay if you if you're not looking forward to this movie. If you think Zack Snyder movies are trash, that's okay too. That's that's fine because uh, Zack, like I said, I'm I'm not a, the biggest Zack Snyder fan personally, but I am a proponent of having directors and writers um, have their time in the sun per se, like allow them to uh, express their artistic valor of sorts to the world, be it good or bad. Uh, for this uh, instance, I have to say that I'm very excited about this project. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm going to see... I'm going to just accept it for what it is. A Zack Snyder movie is a Zack Snyder movie, right? I know what I'm getting. It's a popcorn flick through and through. I'm not going to get anything too cerebral as uh, as you would if you watch, say, uh, say uh, a Christopher Nolan movie or a David Lynch movie. This is going to be a straight-up excitement action-adventure film, and I can't wait to see it. And um, even if I'm let down, I will still be happy uh, at the fact that Zack Snyder was allowed to, you know, give what he thought would be the best Justice League movie uh, he could give to the fans who were eager to watch his take on the DC, the, the shared universe. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, check it out. Uh, it's on HBO Max. Sign up if you have not. This is not a paid subscription to HBO Max. They did not pay me to do this. I just did this out of my own goodwill because, like I said, I'm a DC fanboy through and through, and I want the DC films to survive. I want them to compete with Marvel, and I hope that we that this is the beginning of, of that. So with that said, Julius Freeman, out. Welcome to the Ghetto Dragon, book one, No Good Deed, a 60 plus page story about a young man named Matt Guerra, who saves an underage girl from being kidnapped by a heartless, gruesome gang named Los Valientes, who will stop at nothing to protect their street cred. Follow Matt as he pays the consequences of his good deed with his fists, causing Los Valientes to turn their sights on his family. Does our hero back down, or does he stand his ground? Join us in this martial arts adventure that involves action, drama, a little romance, and tragedy. Follow Julius Freeman on Twitter and Facebook for the latest updates. Also, check out his YouTube channel and subscribe where you can join him in exploring the rich history behind the creation of the Ghetto Dragon. Help make it happen for the Ghetto Dragon, book one, no good deed. You won't regret it.